Michelle TTC Bella coming at you guys with the long overdue update and I want to apologize I'm always apologizing this whole pregnancy I've been apologizing to you guys but I want to apologize to you guys for not being consistent with the update but boy when I tell you I have been going through a lot this pregnancy is rough but let's get to it today I am 31 and 1 I'm coming up onto my, how you want to say it, um, basically my milestone. I've had all my kids around 33 weeks. Um, so the fact that I'm 31 and 1, I guess that's a good thing. And I'm hoping that I can hold this little precious baby in for nine, at least seven more weeks. Ooh, okay. Well, let me get to it. This week, I have been craving nothing but candy yams. That's all I want. I want candy yams, and I want Butterfinger, and I want Sprite. I know that stuff sounds like it's something that's going to rot your teeth, but that's all I want. Um, my food aversion came back where I'm able to smell things. I'm talking about from like five miles away, and basically, yeah... I have to distance myself because it's, it's making me sick um what else i like the smell and don't judge me but i love the smell of gasoline so before i used to have steve take my car to the gas station oh i look a little fat look, look at my wing my bad arms i used to have to have steve take my car to the gas station um, to pump gas for me because I couldn't take the smell. The smell was making me very nauseous. But now I take my own car and I like the smell of gasoline. Like I said, don't judge me. Um, I hate the smell of cut grass this week. Just can't do it. And I have a bunch of energy, which is effed up because I just finished my semester of school and my whole semester I was exhausted to the point where I would ha I would not make the deadline on my homework because I would go to school and come home and sleep past my deadline to the point where I would have to text my professor or email my professor and ask him and her to give me extra time and thank God they were very understanding with the situation um I have been um, taking the McKenna injections. I don't think it's working. I am dilated two centimeters. Um, and I'm very, baby E is making me very, very uncomfortable. I can't lay on my left side. Um, I can't breathe when I'm laying on my left side. Let me put it like that. It feels like I've cracked a rib. Um, I asked the doctor, is it possible? And he said it is possible. Um, and that's pretty much it, you guys. Like, ooh, what do I weigh this week? I weigh 173. Uh, before I got pregnant, I was 171. So I haven't gained too much. I think I'm pretty much losing and the baby's gaining. Ooh, excuse me. He is four pounds at a last scan. We also did a 3D scan, and I will put the picture at the end of this video. And because I do deliver early, his nursery is done. His nursery's been done since I was five months. And there's nothing he needs at this point other than diapers and wipes. He has clothes. He has his crib. Thanks to his auntie, Patrice Walker, he has his bassinet. Um clothes you name it he has it he has an alexa um so that way he can jam you know play his little music and that's pretty much it you guys like i'm so sorry it's probably this update was probably the most boring update ever but nothing much has really been going on i've been sleeping a lot um well, not sleeping a lot, but sleeping good at nighttime. Um, and that's pretty much it. What you ladies been up to? How you ladies doing? 
And um, I love you ladies and much baby dust to all. Bye. This is Ezra's nursery area, all finished.